This brief video describes the steps for performing an accuracy check on the Alka-Sensor 4 with memory breath alcohol instrument using a dry gas standard. To perform an accuracy check, you will need the following materials. Your Alka-Sensor 4 with memory device and a new mouthpiece. You will need an alcohol gas standard. We will be using a dry gas standard with an ethanol content of 0.038 BRAC at sea level. The dry gas standard concentration can be located on the gas tank label. You will also need a tank regulator to attach to your dry gas tank. It is a good idea to keep a logbook of accuracy checks and calibrations performed on your device. You can purchase an accuracy check calibration logbook at alcopro.com. An accuracy check is a test of your instrument's ability to read a known alcohol standard within a given tolerance level. For those of you doing DOT workplace testing, we recommend reading the manufacturer's quality assurance plan to understand how often accuracy checks must be performed, the acceptable methods for performing an accuracy check, and acceptable tolerance levels. The result of your accuracy checks should not differ by more than plus or minus .005 from the expected value of the standard gas sample. The expected or target value of your gas standard can be derived by referencing the altitude chart on the back of your tank. For example, if you are performing an accuracy check in Knoxville, Tennessee, which has an altitude of 886 feet above sea level, the altitude chart shows the expected value of the alcohol gas tank to be 0 0.037. You can also derive the expected value by using a TrueCal device, which uses atmospheric pressure to predict the expected value of the gas. You can purchase a TrueCal device at alcopro.com. Now that you know your expected gas value, you can proceed with the accuracy check. First, Attach the regulator to the dry gas tank. For safety purposes, point the regulator end of the canister away from your body and away from others. Twist the regulator securely in place, making sure you don't over tighten. You may hear a pop or hiss sound as you tighten the regulator. This is normal. Before performing the accuracy check, it is important to purge the regulator. This is done by pressing and holding the button or valve on the regulator for three to four seconds. Purging the regulator releases any dead gas that may be present in the regulator and generates fresh gas for the purpose of your accuracy check. Turn the Alka Sensor 4 with memory on by inserting a new mouthpiece. The temperature, date, and time, as well as a four digit test number will scroll across the display screen. After the four-digit test number has appeared twice, the display will flash the back and forth arrow signs. Then the device will display BLNK. This means the instrument is performing an air blank on the device. An air blank is a procedure that checks the device for any residual alcohol that may remain from a previous test. If the instrument is free of alcohol, it will read 0 .000 for a few seconds. After the device displays the air blank results, it will flash the word test. While the display is flashing test, press and hold the recall button until CHK question mark displays. Then press the manual button until CHEK displays. This puts the device into accuracy check mode. Now attach the Alka Sensor 4 with memory to the regulator. To take a gas sample, press and hold the regulator button and count to 7. When you reach the count of 6, press the manual button on the front of the device. On the count of 7, release the regulator button. Gas must be flowing through the mouthpiece when the manual button is pressed. Remove the Alka Sensor 4 with memory and mouthpiece from the regulator. Once the sample has been taken, the device will flash the back and forth arrow signs for several seconds as it analyzes the sample, and then will display the result as a three-digit number. When the instrument flashes set, press the set button. This ensures the fuel cell sampling chamber is in a closed position and the device is ready for the next test. 
After pressing the set button, you may press and hold the recall button to re-display the accuracy check result. Record the accuracy check result in your logbook. Remember, the results of your accuracy check must be within plus or minus .005 of the expected known value. From our earlier example of an expected value of .037, any result from .032 to .042 is acceptable. If the result of your accuracy check falls outside of the acceptable tolerance range, you must take the instrument out of service and perform a calibration adjustment to bring the instrument back into an acceptable tolerance range. You can view the AlcoSensor 4 calibration adjustment video for step-by-step -step instructions. If you need technical support or repairs on your AlcoSensor breath alcohol instrument, contact one of our factory trained technicians at 1-800-227-9890 or through live chat at alcopro.com.